Once a week, I'm going to challenge you with a small and simple task. These tasks should take no more than 10 to 15 minutes. And the goal of these challenges is to help you learn not only Godot, but also problem solving. You can access the challenges in real time before I release the solution a week before in my Patreon. Link is down below. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the weekly challenge. In this weekly challenge, uh, you were challenged to create a teleportation device. So uh, let's get started right away. We'll kind of go from scratch this time. So this one might, this video might be a little longer. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is we'll add an area 2D. Now this area 2D will act as one of the portals. Now what we'll do is we'll duplicate this and we will go to collision shape and we'll duplicate this as well. Drag this into the area 2D and let's move this area 2D to the left. And what we can do is create portal two and then portal. Now let's create the collision shape. We can make a circle for both of these. And let's make it a little bigger for both. All right, so now for the portal, we'll need a script. So we'll add a script here. Now for the nodes, we will add the body entered signal. We'll connect it into that script. So we'll add it here. Now, if the body enters, first we'll check for the player. Uh, this is a quick way to do it. So you can say if body uh, is, if player is in body name, then that means we're probably the player. Uh, if this is the case, let's pass for now because I want to copy this into this guy. So we'll create, uh, well, we actually won't create a new portal script. We'll add this script. And in here, what we can do is uh, connect this signal as well to make sure that it's both connected. Now what we can do is we need to figure out essentially which portal are we like touching, right? So what we can do here is we can give uh, an export variable. Now this variable will essentially keep track of which portal we are, right? Now here's the thing, this variable can realistically be anything. So we can export, let's say a portal name, right? We can give it a name, we can give it a number, we can give it a Boolean, it doesn't matter. It realistically just needs to be uh, some sort of export thing that can change. So what we can do is let's say, we can make it a string. So we can give it a string and portal. We can say left portal. Uh, let's keep it lowercase actually. And then this one, uh, if we go over here, you can see the export variable. We can say right portal. And now in the script, we need to essentially find out which portal are we playing with, right? So, okay, well, if we touch the left portal, we want to go to the right portal, right? So, okay. In here, we can check to see if uh, what we'll do is because we use the string, we're going to check for a string in the portal name, right? So in this case, we can say if left in portal name, then we want to teleport to the right. So what we can say is body dot position is equal to the uh, portal two. Now, in this case, we need to get access to the other portal, right? So what we'll do is we'll actually get tree. We will get, actually what we'll do is we'll do a little cheat sheet. We'll just get parent and then uh, we'll get node. We'll get child count here actually. So, okay, what we need to do is we need to find the other portal, right? And the way we'll do that is let's create a variable here, um, portal two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna for i in range of the parent uh, children. So what does this mean? Okay, well, essentially what we'll do is here's our portal here, right? Now it's gonna go up into our world and then for loop through all the children. Now an alternative is probably just to do this. So we'll actually do this, it's a quicker way. And we'll create this container to contain the portals, right? Now what we can do is we can for loop I in get child count, and we'll find the other portal. So the way we'll find the other portal is we'll say if write in uh, get parent. So we'll say get parent dot get child I. Then this is probably the correct node. If that's the case, we can say portal two is equal to 
this thing. So, okay, let's recap. We'll for loop through the children of the portal. We'll find if the right is in that child, right? Which most likely it will be, right? It'll be in this one. If it is, we'll say portal two is equal to the get parent dot get child. Now in this case, uh, if that's the case, what we'll do is we'll just get the position of our body, make it equal to the portal two dot position. However, obviously we don't really wanna do this because it'll kind of just start going back and forth. So what we'll do is we'll add a little bit. So we'll say um, dot plus vector. So we'll add a little bit to the X position, let's say 50 and zero. All right, uh, actually we can maybe add 10 to make it look like it's jumping. All right, now at this point, we can just duplicate this and say, and uh, flip these, right? So we can say right here and then left here. Now this obviously is not efficient and you can see why. Now a little challenge for you would be to optimize this code. Try to think about how you can cut this down to be, uh, you know, just one little section of code, right? Okay, but this should generally work. So let's just double check our code. Uh, if left is inherent. Okay, I think this should work. So let's give it a try and test. Okay, our player is gone. Uh, I think it's because our saving script. So let's play from the scene here. All right, it's not working. So let's take a look. Invalid get position. Okay, so there might be a chance that we're not getting the child. So here in this case, we can say if portal two, then we can go to the next position. Uh, nope, that's not what we want. Actually, is it? Yeah, it is. Here we can just delete this. And then otherwise, so let's debug this a little bit. No portal accessed. No portal here. And then we can say no portal two, so we can distinguish. All right, let's take a look and try one more time. All right, it says no portal two accessed. What about the other one? No portal accessed. Okay, so what is going on? All right, so most likely this portal is never being triggered, right? So, okay, well, okay, that makes more sense. So here, we're not finding left in the get child. We're trying to find uh, if it's in the portal name. So here we have to say if in get parent dot get child, uh, if it's in the portal name and not the actual get child, right? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so now let's try this. And there we go. You can see I teleport uh, a little behind the portal. And if I go to the left here, I'll teleport right on top of that one. So let's actually switch this one a little bit. To be 50, in fact, maybe let's do 100. Might be a little better. Let's try one more time. All right, there we go. I'm in front of this portal. And I think I teleported off the screen. Oh, there I am. Oh, I think I teleported off the screen and I fell. Okay, so we do see that it generally works though. And this is our portal system. So obviously, again, uh, I challenge you to try to optimize this a little bit. Um, my suggestion is try to re-understand the code and see that this and this are just swapped in here, right? So how can we make it so that it becomes more dynamic, right? How can we kind of change this uh, in a sense, right? Okay, I'll kind of leave you with that uh, since this is generally working and I hope to see you guys in the next challenge next week. Uh, this challenge was a little more difficult, I think. Uh, and the next week's challenge will be even more difficult. Uh, it'll be more fun. So uh, I hope to see you guys there. Bye-bye.